think well, I've even let go an hour ago. Uh, uh, do a cam call, I'll do, it, but I'll do it later with you, we're going to get some better shots. Yeah, fine, thanks. It's all right, I've done some filming myself with cam calls on, on birds and that. I know it takes a good picture. <laughs> we're a knack to it, really. Yes, you're right, it's a golf thing, so I've got to wait for the bags. Isn't it? Is that what we saw on? The, the wing. Yeah. That's right. They have that wing marking from leaving the nest, oh, yeah. but they um, they will only get the red on the black on their head <laughs> when they actually molt, and they'll be molting very soon. When you see that, that lovely yellow it all together, there, that's what you see in, you know, in the garden for identification. Like that uh, which is basically the early, the early 70s. Mm -hmm. About 25 years, this has been the main method of catching birds. So, what sort of methods were used before? Uh, basically, on a place like this, there was a Heligoland traps. Mm. And there's big cage structures that you see around the place. Yeah, that's the one we saw over there. Yeah, that's Just over the back from your observatory. That's right, yes. That's a Heligo Heligoland trap. First designed in Hel Helgoland, which is in sort of Germany. Yeah. Well, I'm talking about ringing 50. What you've got to do. They can't afford the time. Can't afford the time, so it's got to be a genuine call on there. Right, this is Colin Whitethroat. Which they, it's the most common breeding bird. I'll take these outside for you, so you can then can call them in the sunshine as well. Sahara Desert, we call it a trans-Saharan migrant. This particular bird is a juvenile. A juvenile, it's a 3J. I'll better time this, this is a 9 o'clock cat, so we'll put down that 9 now. It's got the time. Mm -hmm. It's the same sequence, you're okay. okay. Yeah, it's only willow warblers and wrens looking on that first sequence. There are a few other birds, but we won't catch them like firecrest, goldcrest, long tail tips, palace is leaf warbler. Right, so this is a reed warbler and it's a youngster. It's a blue jay. Beautiful bird with a slate grey head and a lovely white throat. That is a lovely bird. It's a lesser white throat. Beautiful mm. young bird. Always well behaved, very polite. <gasps> Dunnock. Next one. Ring goes on. Turn it around with nice degrees. Do the final close. And there's no gap left for the closed ring. This is a three age of this year's bird. Dunnock. Sixty. Yeah, the other one is more small, slightly rufous, brown colour. This is more sort of a olive, isn't it? Sort of a yeah. it looks. Um, the bill's not so long, but it's more this sort of a, a, a slightly greenish sheen to it. Mm. The other one is far more browner right. than this. <laughs> And uh, we can identify which uh, which sheep that's wrong. I think we're on, on K13, I think it starts, isn't it? Um, oh, there's a shame on that one. Oh, that's, they say, yeah, these are the AAs. So we're on 7S2000 uh, sequence. And so, we'll just get 7S2021 or whatever that one of ours. And this is a goldfinch, this is that one I showed you up before, a really nice one. Does that need to go on the next ring? Anymore? That's the A ring, yes, the A ring, and it's Goldfinch and it's 3J. It's a lovely bird, if I want to do a wing length on it. Bang on 80. There, that's to start today's day. Right, yeah. so here we go, which is Wren, so 3J, and the ring number is 9F. One four one six. Now, bearing in mind that on that ring there is that number, 
plus an address. And that teeny weeny nut ring, which is the small, that's the same ring as the Willow Warbler on that blue strip. Mm. Um, that's a Wren and it's a 3J. I have had the 3J for a number of reasons, but primarily, if you look at the beak, at the back of the beak, it's quite yellow. Mm -hmm. That's um, a gate that had, but this is a young bird, born this year. Very. Uh, That's it, because it's losing feathers, it's undergoing her body well. Then you'll let them rip. This is, this is, you, you edit out of the film. <laughs> Kick, squawk, miss. Blackbird. Mm. God, it looks like it's a King J. That's not done wrong. Hold it, hold it. Yourself. Look at that little problem yourself, look at that. <laughs> Put the ring on top. It will hurt if you get hold of your wing. What do you really expect? What? This ring I can want to squeeze it with my fingers. Don't just finish off with the fires. Is it the right way around? Let's have a look at this and see what we've got. This bird is molting on that side. And it's molting on this. This is an adult. Surprise, surprise. Oh, it does surprise you with that gate.